Magandang araw mga solar Welcome back to Top Solar Field. Ako nga pala si John. Welcome. So, in this video, we tested three air conditioners. Uh, window type air conditioners. Two with normal compressor type uh, aircon. And the other one is uh, an inverter type uh, aircon. Uh, in this video, uh, we want to see kung which one is uh, which one con consumes the lesser uh, electricity and how much is it to run your aircon for uh, one hour so we've tested uh, one co co uh, normal compressor type aircon it's an old model uh, probably 20 years model and the other one is a normal type uh, comp compressor as well actually it's brand new aircon and then the third one is an inverter type aircon and um, yeah we wanted to see how much how much does it, does it cost to uh, to run the aircon we use this one this is a power meter and it measures the the current the current uh, voltage the uh, amperes and uh, the kilowatt hour that it uses uh, on a given time so we we uh, use this on the three aircons yeah, if you want to see the results, watch until the end. Okay? So, let's go. This is our old aircon. Yeah. So, this is luma nating aircon. And uh, we're going to check kung ano nga ba yung... Uh, gano kalakas yung uh, kain niya sa power sa load niya kung ilang watts yung kinakain niya okay and uh, kung ilang kilowatt hour sa so, isang oras so now yeah. medyo tricky lang kasi gumamit pa ako ng dalawang uh, extension kasi dito sa saksakan na to hindi ko may pasok parang ano masyado may pit eh yoko sundutin okay so ito yung luma naming aircon standard aircon na na hindi inverter and uh, medyo luma na tong aircon na to so now we'll check thousand watts this is uh, 1.5 horsepower so, kilowatt hour amps nya low high pause lang yung time nilagay ok so we'll test it for one hour Okay, so uh, 45 minutes in, uh, hindi pa rin nag-automatic tong aircon. Um, I think tama lang naman yung size nito. So, yung usage ng aircon, it would depend on the uh, yung capacity ng iyong aircon at yung size ng, uh, ng kwarto. So, mas maganda kung uh, sapat yung aircon mo, yung capacity ng aircon dun sa size ng uh, kwarto mo para hindi tuloy-tuloy yung aircon mo gumagana. So, katulad nito, uh, I think sakto lang naman. Kaya lang, uh, hindi pa rin siya nag-automatic. So, imagine kung mas maliit yung aircon mo, uh, talagang walang pahingaan yan. So, let's see. So, uh, in uh, 45, 45 minutes, nasa 0.86 kilowatt hour na tayo. Uh, and then, uh, 5 amps pa rin. High niya pa rin is uh, 1,200 watts and ang current watt na uh, cons uh, consumption niya is uh, 1,130 watts 
So uh, let's see kung mag automatic siya before mag one hour. If not, then uh, we'll end there. And uh, we'll test the other aircon. Okay? Okay, so um, one hour na, 30 seconds left, and uh, never siya nag nag uh, nag rest. So yung compressor niya tuloy tuloy. Uh, still using 1132 watts, and then um, uh, we've used up 1.13 kilowatt hour. So in uh, peso term, that's about 11 pesos, 11.50 or 11 pesos. Okay, so uh, yeah, never siya bumaba. Okay, so uh, bababaan natin yung, uh, yung uh, thermostat niya, ter temperature niya. Uh, pag nagpahinga siya, yan. Bababa dapat yung kanyang wattage to 118 But I guess masyado, kung, masyado mataas yung settings natin for ano sa temperature So yeah kung gusto nyo makatipid sa aircon usage nyo Ito ang i-adjust nyo Para nakakapagpahinga yung aircon nyo Well that's it 1 hour 1 hour testing in total, we've used up 1.141 kilowatt hour. Okay, so let's go to the next aircon. Okay, so uh, this time we will test a uh, fairly new aircon. Actually, kakabili lang namin ito. Uh, pero hindi to inverter. Hindi to inverter type. And... Uh, uh, so also 1.5 horsepower and let's see kung ilan yung kanyang consumption within one hour so so that's the aircon saksak natin dito and then naksaksak sa extension Wala kasi akong uh, enough na ano, adapter para ma-set, para may saksak yun. Okay, so naka-fan lang siya ngayon. We'll just wait for maybe one minute. hindi mabigla okay kita ba alright so one hour ulit let's do okay I'll uh, na. I'll change the mode to cool na alright there Right now, that's 800, 900, 930, 930 watts. And uh, ang temperature niya is nakaset sa 25. I think we'll do 20, 23. Let's try 23. And let's see. Alright, so uh, right now we're at 960. 4.26 amperes. Low is 2.2, .2, high is 
9.7 sa so tumataas pa rin so this is our wattage okay 1000 watts na tayo 1000 watts let's see kung uh, mag automatic siya within uh, one hour this room this room is bigger than the uh, first one or yung kaninang tinray natin na standard aircon mas malaki tong room na to pero itong aircon na to mas mabilis magpalamig and mas mabilis ma nag automatic so let's see kung within one hour mag automatic siya and uh, hindi nag uh, automatic yung ating uh, aircon so dahil nakaset tayo sa 23 degrees and um, siguro medyo mainit sa labas uh, in uh, one hour if you use up 1.098 kilowatt hour 1.098 so that's roughly 10 pesos 11 pesos kasi uh, Meralco is about uh, 10 pesos per kilowatt hour. So yeah, hindi siya nag-automatic. That's one hour. One hour na, hindi siya nag-automatic. Pero kung bababaan natin ang temperature. Yeah, sa 24, nag-automatic siya. So, once na mag-automatic siya. Actually, 24... <coughs> degrees. Malamig naman yan. So, pag nag-automatic siya, bababa siya ng 90 watts. And, uh, mag-onod siya kapag uh, tumaas na dun yung temperature. So, let's compare. Okay, guys. So, uh, with this one, we've uh, tested Colleen. This is an inverter uh, aircon. And, uh, also 1.5 uh, horsepower. Uh, we just did a, a time lapse para uh, hindi naman masyadong matagal. Uh, we did a one hour testing uh, of this aircon. And um, the average wattage natin is around um, 600 watts. And um, nag max tayo sa around 850 watts. We did this for uh, one hour and um, total consumption is around six, uh, total consumption is around 0.69 kilowatt hour which means uh, an inverter aircon is cheaper to run. Okay guys. Uh hindi ko napansin na ubos na pala yung battery ng aking uh, isang camera so uh, one hour later or one hour and three minutes later ito yung consumption ng ating inverter aircon and um, nasa 0.693 kilowatt hour and so that means that's around um, 7 pesos or 650 pesos per hour. Kapag ang aircon mo is inverter and this aircon is 1.5 horsepower. So, so uh, we're running at 600 watts now. Kanina parang nag 800 tayo. Yeah. So, nag-800 watts yung pinakamataas natin. Running tayo at 645 watts. So, habang tumatagal, bumababa yung kanyang konsumo. And that's a kilowatt hour. 0 0.703. Sobra na ng 1 hour. 1 hour, 5 minutes. So, there. So, there you go, guys. 3 air cons. Two conventional one inverter uh, and uh, it's very clear uh, an inverter aircon is much cheaper to run um, than a standard um, window type aircon so 
uh, as a based sa result ng ating testing um, a standard 1.5 horsepower aircon would cost you 11 pesos to run per hour and uh, a 1.5 horsepower inverter aircon would cost you around 650 to 7 pesos per hour so that's about 40 to 45 percent cheaper um, running inverter aircons than traditional aircons so kung gusto nyo makatipid ka agad uh, sa inyong kuryente you know, switch to inverter aircon and then syempre if you uh, want to bring it down more uh, syempre install solar Andito kami. you can call us if you're interested so if you like this video kung meron kayo natutunan click the subscribe button if you like this video click the like button share nyo to your friends na naghahanap ng um, or nag-iisip bumili ng aircon or nag-iisip magpakabit ng solar uh, and uh, that's it see you on the next video thank you for watching bye